Ooh, they can find Sue, they can catch Quinn. He's ready to make the jump straight over towards BKB. BK having to put the BKB to get out. Yawa, he's going to commit deep. He's going straight over towards Insania. Time is watching for the side. Yawa's falling very, very low here. He's able to jump back over towards the side. They'll take him down once. It's going to be the Aegis gone. Over the back, that's Quinn's trying to keep a hold on to Tiger. The Tiger moves in with the BKB, the Black Hole. Didn't catch Yawa. Didn't catch Yawa. Yawa's able to step out to the side. He can wait it out and he can look to get back in. Jumps over towards BK. BK's down and out with that Moonshot purchase. He's got no buyback. He's out for a hundred. As Quincy crew, they're ready to move on for more lower and Polis and both. Everyone is so low. Pops, he can't finish them off on his own. He's got to run. He's up to the high ground. May just live himself. He's Wait, able did to flicker just, away. Did they just did. force him on the high ground? I believe it was I... a, a sort of a mercy force from Polison. Okay, but that was a good fight. Like, if Phantom Assassin is caught there, I think Phantom Assassin dies. They focus her down, but unfortunately, it was uh, not enough. As you said, Sven does not have a buyback, so they're gonna go in. A lot of minus armor coming up from the Deso, coming up from the AC. He's building gonna fall pretty quickly, Quinn. Driving a deep onto Boxy, you are keeping himself focused on the objectives. Starting to threaten the third, still 15 seconds, no Mickey. And they need to do something, because they are going to play against the Mega Creeps. It's going to be KB out for you are. Just focus the barracks, five seconds without Mickey. They can take it, they have enough time. There it is. And they've got it. They don't even mind if they lose some heroes here. They'll happily die. Yawa will happily take a break. As he'll fall, lower, also goes down, but they got what they wanted. Mega Creeps are out against Liquid. A little bit before he starts to go for the push, before he goes for the siege, the pace. Quite was having to deal with it. Greater Triumphs are beating down. Oh, Yawa! They just tried to jump on him. That's the ages gone. Can we go for a second round? Tiger's trying to get in position from the side. Tiger comes in with the black hole. That's the black hole. He locks it down. Yawa's out buyback but the ancient they never forced to use a glyph on liquid that this is pretty big they get the catch on les now let's go for the bkb tp out he's not making it out of there mickey has oh, the damage this is a close one it's machina in certain situations on certain heroes depends which items you have top line mickey get the hex you want him but tiger's gonna have the counter play comes in with the black hole lock him down they have the damage to bring down your water once they do your water's gone once but the damage for now is enough that he just pummels into tiger tiger falls mickey's gonna run there's gonna be a buyback coming out from tiger they quit they still got the three of them they're gonna jump back over towards lower that's the first here on this pop we'll see if he wants to use the refresher to have a second round and might need to use it daggers coming out from the sidelines as you want get the damage going the side for doing a lot to mickey here tearing through that strength lower will still go down though as they're invested, they're ready to go back in your wall. He's gonna jump in, get the crowd. And Sadie has to has gone. Your wall jumps over towards the creep, trying to cut down Mickey. Mickey's got strength, is shortly gonna be coming to an end. Leslau's in, beats down quite for quite for out of the game. He's got a buyback, Red will tell you the second black hole is in. He's got the three of them. Mickey, he's done. He's got the damage. The PA goes down. Tiger with the black holes holding on for this game. And they've got a chance here. They're, they're continuing to, to stay in the action that win. Thanks to the power of Tiger. All the buybacks, uh, only one who bought back pretty much is uh, Tiger, like in, and the uh, Insania. Also, Koiko bought back. Neblum is Mickey, he still has buyback. See the jump. Doxy. There with a protective. Mickey's gonna come across the end. Disc is gonna be allowed to get Quinn out of there. Disarm onto Mickey. Mickey's gonna be careful. As he's used this, it's through. Oh, he jumps over the back line. Boxy's gone down. Boxy fights back out. immediately. BKB's starting to come to an end for your wise. Off into the shadows with the blur. He'll get away. Pressure continuing to build up against Liquid with the creeps. The tree is pushing in over towards the ancient Quinn. Over towards Mickey and Senior. Rolling low, go set up in a few seconds. The Book of the Dead's out, the pressure really building up. Mickey able to take down Polison. The Book of the Dead is onto the Ancient. They're just trying to beat it down here. Mickey. Mickey can deal with it with the cleave. But they turn, they've got the hex. They're going to take it down. Up. They're going to have the damage. They do, they take down Mickey. Buyback immediately from the Sven. Touch Noble's over towards the station profit. They've got no the damage. They buyback. Down low, low and goes down. Polison's out as well. Let's go out. Three dead on Quincy Crew. No buyback. He knows that he can't go for the base race against the five of Liquid. He's got to try and put together a defense. I, I just don't think there's enough time. And Tiger, he has two black holes. He does. It's Quinn. Trying to do his best to just slow them down with the disables, with the stuns. You are spamming out those daggers, but a tier falls down. Now this is it. Liquid are doing it. They certainly are by the looks of it. The second tower is going to go. Ancient is exposed. Mickey trying to close it. Quinn is going to do something now. They jump over. You are different. He's got to watch out for Tiger. Tiger stands There's up. The black, the black hole's there. You are gone. Liquid, they'll be able to close.
Hands up the game! A lot more healing coming into play. Even when he's not attacking. Also that dispel that might be... As Nico baby. I mean, Nico baby, he's gonna be the one to get jumped. Mike Jaws in on him, already able to take him down to fire. Half HP lifts him with a 2 by bow, trying to jump it over on GH. Nico baby trying to focus down the aisle. Gets the rage fire blast out. He really wants to kill GH, but Crow with the body blocks stops him from being able to do so. They've lost hand scan. They'll lose limp as Miracle commits it over towards the Sand King. Both two have buybacks available. They may need to use them as Nico baby's gonna go down the ones. They're looking to move in, Nick, but take him down a second time. They won't quite be able to do so. As Nico baby's able to get back to the fountain. He will live, but they've had to use two buybacks for this. Is going to get any kills out of it. They'll look towards RTW Lim. He's going to jump back in, but he's been silenced. He's up in the air with the yours. Has he got anything else to get him away? He's trying to head back, but the slow is there for Kuro. Mike shot him with the punches, but Nigma, they'll step back. Alliance to put the full five man up. Nico Baby tries with the lead in onto Kuro. A lovely three man stun line up there by Hanskin and S4. He's trying to get in on the back lines, but it's so much magical damage. S4 just gets beaten down by Mind Control and RTW. And in Mind Control, he's not done yet. He's up to the high ground. See if they can find more out of this. FG trying to turn up towards Kuro, Nico Baby in for the big hit! He'll be able to bring down Kuro, but look at the, just the speed that Nico Baby falls into the damage of RTW! He's not bringing Kaide back up, so he's ready for a second round. Mind Control, holding back S4 with a stop, but Mind Control, he's ready to jump straight over towards Lim. Lim, he's got Boris Strike up, he's out to the side, but RTW is chasing him down, and they got any detection? Lim's into the trees, hit the sound stop, he's able to get the blink away! Lim will live, but Nico Baby, he's still stuck in the front lines, but he's happily sat next to Miracle! Brings down the storm, that's Miracle and Kuro down for over a minute! Alliance, they're not done with the chase. S4 leading out of the base. See what they can, they can get it. RTW and GH on the retreat. GH has got a relocate available, but Nico Baby's in with the control. They bring down the IO. A GH is out. That's the third dead on Nigma. And S4, he's continuing to run down RTW, but the BKB and the TP is up. So ILTW makes it away. I don't know. No, they won't want that. I want something a little bigger here. Nico Baby. They are dead. Nico Baby's going to be able to turn and get the stun off onto Kuro. Kiss is already coming in from the side. Nigma are able to get in on this. They're trying to make a run straight over towards FNG. Over towards the end of it. Miracle's looking for a target. He's going to be able to find live on Lim. He was waiting and ready. Makes the jump over towards Miracle. GH is coming out of the heels, but it's not enough. Miracle goes down, but they'll lose both supports for Alliance. FNG buys back immediately, but Hanskin's out of the game. Nico Baby trying to fight back. The jump. Lim, he's in with the bonus track. The episode for the BKB and the life steals there from RTW. Taking it back up to full HP. Lim's got a run. He's trying to get out of here with the ghost step to Nigma. S4, FNG back in action, second life for Nico Baby ready to go as he crits down another, takes out my control, and GH and RTW, they're coming in for the cleanup, can they take the rest of them down, another kill for RTW, S4, trying to get an angle over towards GH, but GH has dodged the chakra and tethers over towards the wave, RTW pushes back S4 with the rocket barrage, it's limp, he's got a missile heading his way, they just can't quite do anything about the jar, and they've managed to take down three again, Alliance. But ILTW just still a target that they're, they're having to almost ignore in these fights. Xavier's been losing this game still at the moment. Enigma, they're forcing reaction. Look how quick they kill this building too. I mean, yeah, the pressure's on for Nico Baby to get this item finished up and get back to base. He's about 200 gold short of the rapier. He just needs to get a camp or, or so more. And it's gonna mean this Rax is probably gonna go down without defense. They're waiting until Nico Baby has the rapier. They don't want to try and take any chances without it. So they'll let the bottom Rax go. Nick may be able to get another objective. Next time round though, they'll bring the fight. Rapier done on the Wraith King. Alliance. Waiting on the high ground. I mean, that's still for one of these squishies. Someone's got to make the call. They're going to try. Nico Baby's in. See if they've got enough damage to take down RTW. Have they got enough with the rape? Yeah, they do. They bring down RTW. Nico Baby ready to charge over towards GH. As S4 and Nico Baby push back the aisle. GH will get taken out by S4. Over to the side. Limps it with a jump onto Kuroki. Kuroki, he'll also fall. As Alliance, they make the move. And the rapier pickup is doing it. He's safe. So he can get BKB. That's, All right. That's a good safe move. Oh, gross. And they, oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> wow. I don't remember Bambi being that brutal. <laughs> Mortal Strike. Yeah. And that Nick, my best right there without, without the captain. You know, what, what do they do now? You know, where the. They've got to get away. I don't think they're going to do anything once they're a man down. Storm Force double damage! It's scary. It really is. There's all this damage and control that Alliance have shown now. Nigma have to give it the respect. Oh, S4. Oh, hello, GH. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's going on here? GH is dead. RTW's going to put the BKP. Nigma is going to come in onto a big ass splitter. Comes out of Nigma. Maybe he's got the damage. Hit with the finger. Help it out. It's not enough. They'll finally take him out. Nigma Baby's going to fall. It doesn't matter, he's got reincarnate, ready to go. Miracle, ball lining up to the high ground, and away, Lim. He's heading back.
back over. Smoked up with the buyback, ready to close back in, and maybe maybe Sniffer Lies could turn things around. GH is dead for 90 seconds. And ILTW had to buy back. Now the next thing Alliance does have to watch out for is Velo King players. I think oh, that's true. Oh, but they're still trying. They're going to get the jump on. He's already pulled the BKB. Tries to stand his ground against Nico. Maybe Nico back to win over the BKB as well. And the Miracle is trying to fuck down S4, but S4's able to get the heal off. Back up to full HP. Kuro, he's going to get left outside of the base. They're trying to get him back to safety. A big deep timber chain from S4 comes out as he moves straight up into the base. They jump for Mike Control turns over his limb. Lim keeping himself alive with the Ulster. Get out time. Lim still alive with the Impetus. We'll find him. They bring down them the ones. Nico maybe getting by mind controls, the reincarnation will be popped. But ILTW, he's dead, he's out, he's gone for two minutes. Nigma just down to the last three to hold this as Nico, baby, he is dual wielding. All right, we're back in action. Sorry. We're back. Miracles trying to clear out the mid to get all the creeps. He did, right? He did, but they can go through back door. Oh, they do. They, oh, oh, goodness, they're on a mic drop. Mic drop's got to run. Yep. You'll be able to stay with the relocate miracle in and out again. Trying to slow down the push. They get the range racks. Back door protection has kicked in. You're right with this double rapier. That's a lot of damage from the Wraith King. And the creeps, they're coming in. Still going to be a full minute, no gyro for the defense. And S4 starts to burn the bottom tower as well. Ah! Lift the wave to make sure Miracle can't actually cut us. One center. They've got the jump on Miracle! It made miscalculated! It didn't have enough mana to get back home! Miracle's dead! That's game. He's got a buyback. They're gonna try their best to, to continue to defend here, but the tier fours are starting to go down. He gets the jump over towards FNG. FNG! He is gonna die. Oh, maybe not! FNG! He's out! He's got the pickle! Is he away? Oh no, sorry, it's the rape form. It's the rape form. It doesn't matter though. He's still able to help the team continue to push on. The tier fours are falling. To the ancient here, Nico Baby's looking to close the game. Mike Control trying to push him off it, but the damage is too high. Nico Baby will look to pick up more kills on the way. Turns over towards Mike Control. He turns back towards the throne, gets the game. GG is called as Alliance will take game one. Because Phoenix died without being able to pop a supernova. He was caught out first, out of position. If that doesn't happen, Winchy Crew will crush the fight. Nice initiation here by Les Lau. Easy kill on General. Oracle right. dies with just one uppercut. Yep, that's not looking good, but however, they still want to commit the fight for Team OBD on. Catching Phoenix, silence on him, easy kill. He died in the same spot twice. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, oh. the fight keeps on. Turn on the BKB for your part, and now he's walking around, and now rolling Boulder. Boulder smash a little bit. He that's used BKB. Be the... He doesn't have BKB oh. anymore. Nope. Now he's coming back, Reconation. Oh, no, see how fast he can just melt down at Jawa. Next one's gonna be Quincy Crew. It's making you sweep Team Devil 2000. They all come back to the game for OB Neon. Rolling Thunder catching one more. Next one's gonna be Left Slow. Swatch Mato, he falls. Gets a double kill for Rampage. A bunch of very costly mistakes here. Rave King popping the BKB with 10% health. Oh, Quinn in trouble as well. Back to the higher ground, turn on the chip shifter as well. They are about to attack on each other. They go in first, they simulate actual steps, every stop. And where it's all being silent, so you can not, not drop the back attack. Nice you, scepter, spot the door from fighting. Going in, no, exhaust system is not doing good. The supernova right in the middle of the fight. The four team only the on this wall back. Pop the BKB for Red King, start to chop people. He chop him down and wet them out. Put your heart, just keep on rolling, rolling. Turn on the BKB as well, but he can't be the backbone for his teammate. The rest of Team OB Neon keeps spreading out and getting chopped one by one. This one is going to be Quinn. This one is going to be your part. But no, it seems like Playhard is fighting with the Red King right here. Devil 2000 still doing a very good with kiting people and dealing damage with his Crypt Swarm, even though he doesn't have his ultimate though. Let's take a look at the um, situation right here. Devil 2000 came down at Quinn. This one is going to be Red King. Where are you going to go? Oh my god. Good, let's see, getting bit by the invisible dog. Jumping away from the red fire blast. Very nice, fair enough. But can he run away from the fortune sand? I don't think so. He'll be chased down by Devil 2000. He'll be slowed down by Spirit Siphon. There goes the first life. Reincarnation once again. Coming back to the second life. We'll surely go down. He was silent. Rolling boulder. Boulder smash. Everything. Devil 2000 is on the god light. Like they just, you know, pressing buttons. They're like, I gotta use this, I gotta use that. Raving out of position, it's BKB ready though. Yeah, they simulate now, they start the big team by four bodies, it's the same for the cheese as well. Red King stuck in the middle of the fight, now where is it? You set 
Thought himself once he shot down, gonna deal with a lot of damage. Supernova in right in the middle, forcing everyone to just run away. But that build 2000 health is very healthy, full HP all the time. High regen rate, Red King now trying to chop the support. Play hard will be chopping down. Now he's gone, but he's fine because he bought back right away. And the core heroes of Team OB and Eon is still there, and it's getting I close. The cool downtown rolling boulder away down nice kick to the lower. Fight. And in the spirit siphon, David 2000 is still on the godlike. However, the uh, light can't get chopped down. He doesn't have a buyback, so the rest of the OB in the on. It's only four. Can they kill the dead prophet? Down. There's somebody down, but it's a light can, but he's going to be back to a team full mana. Swan Sparkle in order to stop the red king. Yawa need to pop the BKB back and one fall back to kill for power. Can they the Can they stop the red? Yes, they can. And also the sun ray will slow down a little bit. No part running for his life. He'll be chewed by the fire spirit he falls too oh my dear they still hanging on to this game with team quincy crew oh my goodness oh i got a goosebump man ladies and gentlemen are you ready for this big team by the rapier on red king they start by off the rolling boulder in and a walrus plant setting up the tempo with him but where is red king he needs to jump in and start doing damage they just trying to base on him you red king for starting he decided to jump away, and now he can go in the web that he on to stop your part rolling boulder in from the smat as well. And also turn the BKB from Command Matai. Sunway will be down, but the one who goes is actually left well. Rolling boulder on the higher ground, but where is the Red King? And he comes out with the himself. Oh no, Supernova on the high ground, that's perfect. Supernova on the cliff, nobody can attack him, but however, look at that. At least the dead man coming up for the boy spirit, almost killed. About to go down, boy spirit. Where is the Red King? Top somebody down. If he plays at all, Red King top on him. He's a damage. Top down at your part as well. Next one is going to be the page. Where are you going to go? He's getting two back on the end of round that. And the King is there to him. The King top him down. No more back. Clap, come Quick on. Kill on what a game. Nice. The Divine Rape here pick up paid off immensely. We've seen the DP use Exorcism again prematurely. There was no target there at all. When he reached the fight, Exorcism was already half over. And, and Neon, in the last two, three fights, they really just used their abilities massively. They have no buybacks. This game is just over. GG.